Kind of All right, I'm at there. Concept Nod booth. They got some pretty sweet ones coming. This one's definitely interesting. We got the bolster here, right here in the back. We got the G10 with the divots here. Definitely different here. And once again, what is it? I'm sorry. The Fenrin. The Fenrin. That's definitely a nice, aggressive one. Um, I can't really see if it... It has, oh, there's a name. I don't know if it has a steel on here yet because it might be it's probably a prototype. That's a prototype. Yeah. Comfortable in hand, that harpoon, you know, it, it, it's kind of surprised me. I think that kind of throws me off the double right here where they got the... Yeah. But um, liner lock, very, very smooth action. You got a front flipper here, very easy to use. Drop shut, thumb stud, very easy to use. There you go. And then this is probably one... There's, the next two are my favorites. This is a Nalu design. I love his work. And the entity. He, yeah, the entity. He came out with the uh, that that sponsor style first with them uh, in their budget. No, that wasn't that wasn't a child. No, that was. Okay, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, <laughs> not on this video. Uh, okay, so you got some nice venting right there in the tie. Beautiful blade. Of course, it's got oil on it because it's uh, you know, fresh. I'm not now the pocket clip. That to me, hopefully they change that. I'm not sure you know I'm where they're going it's, with it's, it. A, it's a very attractive knife right. on this side, but when you turn it this way, you're like, whoa! Why is there a parts bin clip on there? <laughs> very very smooth. Uh, very snappy. That's one thing he was known for. I know they were sort of how crisp his details were. I never got to experience one of his customs. Um, this one is probably my favorite of the show. Go ahead and say the name. The Nest Street. <laughs> the Nest Street. You got Marshall Noble here helping me out because uh, I can't remember names for them in my life. That's a new one too. Yes. Uh, this one, I probably wouldn't get one with Damascus. I'm not a huge Damascus fan, but this handle in this like crushed carbon fiber is so comfortable. I mean, ridiculously comfortable because it's a liner lock, so you don't have anything, uh, you don't have a lock bar or anything making it feel funny. There's the designer right there, it's making it mark. I love that blade shape, and just where the thumb fits right here. Very, very comfortable, got a nice sharpening trawl. This one is, is very smooth as well. Very smooth. I'll probably try to pick this one up for the channel uh, whenever possible. I don't know how. I think that one's, they said, not too long. Now, this one's kind of interesting. I'm not, it's not really my thing. What's that other one that you just had? The small one? Yeah. Put it, you put it right here. I'm going to show you that one. Uh, this one reminds me of. Same setup, but it's got. This is the Rebus, I guess. Yeah, nice. Frame lock once again with the. See, I don't know why they're doing that. With the uh, regular clip. You can, you can use that little window hole for the spotty flick if you want, or you can use that thumb stud for the flip out. Very smooth on that one. Not, not really my thing, but here's another very cool one, I think. It's kind of it's a small folder. Throw a stone wash on there, it'd be beautiful, but I'm not sure they're going with the blue carbon fiber. So. That's odd. They do the chamfer all the way right here, and it's all the way around. I wonder why. I'm sure there's a reason. I don't know. Um, very, very lightweight because of how small it is. Let's see if I can focus there. Michael Galvic and Michael, I guess it's a collaboration with the AG. It's too reflective, but very, very smooth, very minimal flipper tab, super lightweight because that carbon fiber. Uh, actually, brown, pretty decently thin. Bunch of different models here. So, there's another one. Got one more here. It doesn't get a whole lot more minimal flipper tab than that one. It's got this kick up titanium. I like, I love the scales. It's, it's one of those deep blasted aluminum oxide style uh, blade, I mean, scales. Uh, looks like a hollow on that one. I don't know if I, well, maybe not. Can't really tell. The light's kind of going crazy. Frame lock. Okay, it's, it's, this one's lightweight too. JK knives. What is it that you, man, it's so shiny. What is this one? 
and uh, it's brand new. It's right there on top. I not do out. I've been JK knives. No, look right there. Can you see it? I can't see it on that little side. It says the name of it. It's not. Nice. It's okay. You know, you don't have to. Oh, it's it's Fifty dollars. End, end of the day today. There you go. If you, if you want, I'll oh. name down. Uh, you see this one? Integra. This one? Integra. That last one I showed. This has got to be O Stop Hell, huh? That's the dash. O Stop Hell or what? Oh, Dark Pinkerton. Yep. Oh, it's like a little dash. Kara Dashi, huh? Exactly. You see that right there? It's kind of hard to get to that line of log. Very hard. To, yeah, that's pretty early in the yeah. stages of prototyping. I'm sure they'll probably pull that down, hopefully, because I can't, I can't even get a finger in there. It's very, very hard. But it's 290. Oh, yeah. Like, I love perk. If, I, if, if I'm looking for a warning, I go look at dark stuff. Strasse, you know, that's German for street, right? Strasse? It's German for, it's German for, German for street. Strasse? Thanks, Sandra.